the world's smallest turtle to turtles in outer space. Here are 16 awesome facts about turtles. 16. Making some noise. While turtles do lack vocal cords, some species are still known to make some noise. The red-footed tortoise from South America will emit a clucking noise that's similar to a chicken. And the giant musk turtle found in Central America is said to yelp like a dog when it's under attack. And the female leatherback sea turtle, well, she is known to make a noise that's said to be similar to the sound of a human belching. 15. Straight back or sideways in. Turtles have two ways of retracting the heads into the shells, and according to the method used, they've been divided into two groups. Those species that pull the head straight back into the shells are identified as Cryptodera. Some examples would be the Aldabra giant tortoise and various snapping turtles. The other way turtles can retract the heads is by bending the neck horizontally, then pulling the head back to occupy a space by one of the front legs. Now, these creatures are identified as Pluridera and the more commonly called side neck turtles. A well-known example of these critters would have to be the Mata Mata turtle. Bending a neck that long into a horizontal position must be, well, a pain in the neck, so to speak. 14. Something in common. Turtles, reptiles, and birds all have something in common in that they lay eggs. But what would turtles have in common with mammals? Well, actually, turtles, birds, and mammals, including humans, are all classified as omniotes. Now, that term refers to four-limbed vertebrates that either lay the eggs on land or where the fertilized egg is retained within the mother. Now, that's as opposed to anamniotes, where animals like fish and amphibians lay the eggs in the water. Experts estimate that the first amniotes would have resembled small lizards and appeared around 312 million years ago. 13. T-words Whether you're talking about a turtle, a tortoise, or a terrapin, you are referring to a reptile that belongs to the order Testudines. Those three common terms can vary depending upon which form of English is being used. Now, in North America, for example, turtle can often refer to the order as a whole or to water-dwelling species while tortoise refers primarily to the land-dwelling animals that do not swim. Terrapin typically refers to smaller turtles that are semi-aquatic, and some of which live mostly on land. Now, an easier way to view the animals is to describe all species of testudines as turtles, regardless of whether they dwell in the land or the sea, with tortoise referring specifically to the slow-moving terrestrial creatures. But maybe the best overall term for turtles might be colonians. Now that refers to the superorder Colonia, and that simply includes all turtles, extinct or living. Now then again, Teenage Mutant Ninja Colonians doesn't have quite the same ring to it, does it? 12. Tiny Turtle now Chances are you know that the Leatherback Sea Turtle is the world's largest living turtle, weighing upwards of some 2,000 pounds. But did you know the world's smallest living turtle is actually called the Speckled Tortoise. The carapace of a male measures a little over three inches long. Now, females grow larger with a carapace length of about four inches. Weighing less than six ounces, these reptiles are identified by a flattened shell that has serrated edges and a speckled orange-brown coloration. They're indigenous to a small arid region in western South Africa. 11. Ocelon as we mentioned earlier, the leatherback sea turtle is the largest extant turtle today, but some 80 million years ago, Archelon would have taken that title, and appropriately enough, the leatherback is Archelon's closest living relative. Now, that prehistoric beast had an estimated live weight of more than 4,800 pounds and measured some 13 feet long. From flipper to flipper, it was about 16 feet wide. So you can just about imagine a turtle around the size of a car. This creature from the late Cretaceous is considered to be the largest genus of sea turtle ever documented. But it's not the heaviest. Stupendomys is estimated to have tipped the scales at about 5,000 pounds. 10. Skunk Turtles 
geneticists have not gotten around to crossbreeding skunks and turtles, at least not that we know of. The term refers to some turtle species, like the rightly named stinkpot turtle native to North America. It's named for its ability to release a foul stench from scent glands located on its shell. The odor is likely used as a defense mechanism against predators. But maybe a more heinous example is the eastern long-necked turtle native to Australia. Silent but deadly, this critter has musk glands that can exude a liquid that gives off a smell often described as a mix of rotten cabbage and raw sewage. So no wonder why Aussies call it the stinker. 9. Live really long and prosper Tortoises, of course, are known for having a long lifespan, thanks in great part to their slow metabolisms. But did you know they also have an extremely long existence as well? Experts say that turtles have been around for some 220 million years, and that makes them one of the most ancient groups of reptiles, including snakes and crocodilians. Did you know that some turtles that were around during the time of the dinosaurs are still with us today? The African side-necked turtle belonged to a freshwater family that initially appeared around 120 million years ago. And in the oceans, green sea turtles are among the oldest living members of a lineage that dates back around some 55 million years. 8. Limited Supply did you think that giant tortoises exist only in the Galapagos Islands? Well, in fact, they're only found on two groups of tropical islands. The Galapagos is one location, and the Aldabra Islands in the Indian Ocean is the other. Now, these animals can weigh more than 900 pounds and measure more than four feet long. And while they're known to live at least a century or longer, their numbers have declined drastically over the past 250 years. About 10 extant species remain in the Galapagos out of an original 15. And in the Aldabra Islands, there were once around 20 species of giant tortoise. Today, only one species remains. 7. The Original Turtle Odontocales semi-cestacea translates as toothed turtle with a half shell, and that describes what experts believe to be the oldest turtle on record, dating back some 220 million years, possibly longer. It was also the most primitive, since it did not have a fully formed solid carapace like the modern day specimens. Instead, this creature had broadened ribs similar to the embryos of modern turtles that have not yet developed the hardened plates of a carapace. The prehistoric the historic turtle instead had the flat shell called a plastron that armored its underside. Now another difference from present day turtles is the presence of teeth in the upper and lower jaws. Today's turtles have a horned beak but no teeth. Fossils of the creature were discovered in China and described in 2008. 6. Turtles as Pets If you're thinking of getting a turtle as a pet, remember some guidelines from the Humane Society. The sale of smaller turtles, with shells of 4 inches or less, was prohibited in the U.S. in 1975 to prevent the spread of salmonella. Remember that turtles are not low-maintenance creatures. They need plenty of room to grow since some species might reach a foot in length. And since they do have the potential to live for decades, be prepared for a long-term relationship of caring for the pet. And treat your animal with respect, not as a plaything to put on your car's dashboard. At worst, it could cause a distraction resulting in a car crash. And if you get a turtle and decide you don't want it, do not turn it loose outdoors. For one thing, that is illegal, because the animal could spread disease or become an invasive species. 5. Shell Game The best known physical trait of a turtle is its upper shell, which is known as a carapace. It serves as protection against predators, but they also have a lower shell known as a plastron, which protects the belly. Now, have you ever wondered how the upper and lower shells stay in place? Well, they're connected by bridges on the turtle's sides. Those are bony structures that serve to join the carapace and the plastron together. Most turtle shells are composed of about 60 bones, including the ribs and backbones, which means, contrary to some beliefs, that turtles cannot come out of the shells. It would be kind of like your skeleton trying to crawl out of you. Did you know that turtle shells are embedded with nerves? 4. Shell Shock 
Like the turtles themselves, the turtle shells can be found in a variety of shapes and colors. While the heavy, formidable shell of the tortoise is iconic, it also creates a burden for the critter, causing it to trudge slowly across land. But other species, like the soft-shell turtles, have carapaces that are characterized by the lack of horny scutes or scales. While they have a bony layer underneath, the carapace is flexible and leathery, especially at the edges. A softer, lighter shell means that the animals can move faster, whether in the water or on the land. And even if they're known as soft-shell critters, did you know that many species have a bite powerful enough to amputate your finger? 3. Turtles to the Moon Okay now, true or false, tortoises were among the first Earthlings to actually reach the moon. Well, that would be true. It happened in 1968 when the Soviet Union launched Zond 5, an unmanned spacecraft that became the second vessel to reach and circle about the moon. In addition to the pioneering tortoises, other life forms included mealworms, flies, and plants. Upon re-entry, the module was recovered, and all the passengers were found alive and unharmed. And it turned out that the tortoises lost around 10% of the body weight, but remained otherwise active. 2. Age Verified while there have been many tortoises claimed to have lived as long as 250 years or more, many of those accounts remain unverified. But there is one creature that was officially documented to have reached the ripe old age of 188 years. That female tortoise was named Tui Malila, and according to tradition, Captain James Cook gave her as a gift to the royal family of Tonga in 1777, the year she was hatched. The radiated tortoise from Madagascar stayed with the family until her death in 1965, and today the animal's body is preserved in the Royal Palace of Tonga. One, tough turtles. If you need proof that turtles can be some tough critters, consider this. They did manage to survive the KT global extinction event, which eradicated around 90% of animal and plant life that existed on land, and that would have included terrestrial turtles as well. Now, if the dinosaurs could not survive a meteor allegedly slamming into the Earth some 66 million years ago, how did turtles manage to do it? Well, experts say that the turtles, which dwelled in lakes and streams, were afforded a type of protection protection against the forces that killed off dinosaurs and land plants. They had very slow metabolisms that required little in the way of energy. So they, along with certain other burrowing and water-living animals, were able to subsist on the scant resources left after the extinction event. Well, that's one theory anyway. What do you think?